Today we're working on our E flat major scale. Welcome back. Welcome to the studio. My name is Cassie and I'm a professional violist and teaching artist. Today we're working on our E flat major scale. We're going to do one, two, and three octaves. And if you're interested in skipping ahead to one of those octaves, I'll put timestamps in the description below. And also, if you're interested in, my, interested in my fingerings, those are posted on Patreon, and there's also a link for that below. So we're going to start with our one octave scale first. And the scale system that I use, every single scale starts on first finger. So we're going to be starting this one in second position, which might be a new position for some of you. So let's talk a little bit about how to find that starting pitch. So on the C string, then uh, this is practice. Eventually, we're going to be able to do this without having to um, use a guide finger to find this. I'm going to play my open C. <laughs> my first finger D, and then using that first finger I'm going to scoot up a half step, so I'm shifting up a half step to find that E flat. So C, D, shift up a half step. So we're going to do that a couple of times just to get good at finding where that E flat is. step is really really close so it would be where your low two usually goes but we're going to replace that with our first finger and that's now second position so once you feel comfortable doing that we're going to try to do that silently so I'm going to tap my low two hopefully you can hear that pitch on your instrument I'm going to try to match that with my one then I'm going to use my tuner to verify that so I was a little bit too high that time let's try it again and we're going to go a little bit lower so tap Match with your one. So that's eventually what we want to get to. For now, you can even do open, one, low two, and then match that to find second position. So hopefully one of those two methods works for you. Once you're comfortable doing that, we're going to start our scale. And the finger pattern that I use is always the same. It's one, high two, high three, touching four, one, high two, high three, touching four. On the lower two strings anyways, that's the case. When we get to our second octave, we'll talk about how to, to adjust that finger pattern. I'm setting my metronome to 74, and we're gonna do four beats per bow, two beats per bow, one beat per bow. Let's find that E flat, match it, and let's begin. One, two, three, Four. scale and we talked about the finger pattern for the bottom two strings being a three and four half step on the top two strings my two and three will touch so my half step changes position so bottom two strings it's three and four top two strings it's two and three and we're in second position the whole time we're going to follow that same rhythmic pattern of four beats two beats one beat per bow my metronome set at 74. let's find that e flat again tap shift one, two, ready, go.
three octave scale, and for this one, after I play my second finger on the A string, that note is D, I'm going to shift up with my one, and that's a half step shift, and my pattern there is one, two, high three, shift again, and that shift is also a half step, one, two, three, four, and then extend it four. So again, it's one, two, three, shift, one, two, three, four, four. Now, if you don't have a cutaway bout like I do, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult because we're getting really high on the fingerboard there. You're gonna to need to use your elbow to kind of alley-oop you up there. So we're gonna do a quick shifting exercise to practice that. You don't even need your bow for this one, so you can put that safely on the stand. And I'm gonna hold the lower bout of my instrument. And with my first finger, I'm going to not press into the string, but I'm gonna glide on top all the way to the end. Now you'll notice when I hit the bout, or the shoulder, my thumb is gonna come under and onto the side of the neck here and help guide me to the end. So up close, that looks like this. Thumb comes around and stays on the fingerboard all the way to the end. Now your elbow underneath the instrument is gonna to have to come a little bit closer to your belly button to help you get around. So from this angle, that same shifting exercise looks like this. Elbow underneath and around. So hopefully that will help you feel a little bit more comfortable shifting into those higher positions. Now when we hit that scale and we have to do that final shift, you're gonna to need to make sure that your thumb's not still on the side of the neck because that's gonna impede you from getting your fingers up high enough on the final part of that um, third octave. So same tempo, we're still doing four beats, two beats, and then one beat per bow. Let's find that E flat, tap, match, and let's begin. Four beats. One, two, ready, go.
like to practice scales, any different bowings or rhythms that you'd might like me to make a video on, please post those in the comments below. I really do enjoy trying to help from afar. And next week we're going to do E major and then we're just going to continue up chromatically so that we have all those scales and you have a video to practice whatever scale you need. Thank you so much for joining me today and happy practicing.